Hello friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about the JSON files and uh, how we have to pass the JSON in UiPath. Okay, and UiPath has come up with a set of uh, libraries that will support the JSON type. Okay, so uh, before getting into it, before getting into the JSON, first we have to check whether we have the JSON package installed or not. Okay, so here just you have to type JSON. In activities pane, you just have to type JSON. Okay, then if you are not getting anything, that means JSON file format, JSON uh, libraries are not installed in your machine. If you are getting these two functions, that means JSON JSON libraries are installed. Okay, so in order to install this JSON libraries, you just have to go to this package manage manage packages folder and click on this available and. Uh, There, uh, there is an option called install. You just click on it. Here I have installed, so I am getting this uh, correct mark. Okay. So once that is done, um, once that is done, that means you are having the JSON uh, uh, JSON uh, activities installed in your UI path. Okay. So once that is done, let's. Uh, there were you can see there were two methods related to the JSON. Okay, one is deserialized JSON and the other one is deserialized JSON array. Okay, so we'll understand the difference between those two by looking at the real time example. So if you see here, uh, I have given this one and I'll open the other one as well. So So if you can see that, you can you can see there is a difference between these two. So this is only one JSON object, okay. And whereas this one is a collection of JSON objects, each one is separated by comma. This is ended up here, and after the comma, again the same thing is starting, okay. So with this, you can understand that it is a collection of JSON objects. So they are keeping it in a array. So this is called JSON array as well as this one is is only one JSON object. So for this kind of scenarios when there is only one JSON object then you can use deserialized JSON and whereas this one where you have multiple JSON objects then you have to use deserialized JSON object array. Okay. So in this we will understand deserialized JSON array since if you can understand this one you can easily work on this realized JSON. Okay, so for that I am I created one scenario where I am what I am doing in this scenario is um, I am reading a JSON object and I am just passing that object. Okay, so uh, I am reading a JSON object as a file format and I am passing it. I am just displaying it on the screen. Okay, so let's get back into the implementation part. So I just created a basic one here. I am reading. I am using this activity called read uh, text file. Okay. So in this read text file, I am giving the path of the path of the JSON file. Okay. So here I am giving the input JSON, which is a, uh, a collection of JSON. So it is an array of JSONs. Okay. So for that, uh, for this activity, you can see I am keeping them in. Um, output type is json passing i have created that one json passing as a string type okay so once this is done that means it will read entire file and it will this it will have the content of that json in json passing object as a string type okay so once that is done what we are doing is like we are calling this deserialized json array function here so this deserialized JSON array will take the input of the above above will take input of the above activity that is a JSON parsing that itself will be like it is having a JSON uh, JSON file JSON uh, content okay so it is it is in a text format it is in a string format now this output array you can see this output uh, here we are converting it into the array type okay so this is JSON array type okay so let's look into the data so that we can understand how we can pass it okay 
so what I given is I have given this one so in this let's let's get this first name and last name and uh, first we'll get this then we'll see other other futures okay so for that I'm using this message box message box activity okay so uh, what I am doing here is uh, first of all I am this is the output type so what I will do is I will use that output which is created and here what I will do is I will just give this tag name the tag name is first name so I will be having this first name so uh, okay before getting into this uh, this is is a collection of uh, uh, array objects right so uh, this is a collection of uh, array type so we, what we have to do is we have to use for each loop to loop to each and every uh, array type so from this I am just connecting that with this one here what I am doing is like output I am giving this output here item here the type should be of json dot this one j j token type okay once you got that type what you can do is like you just uh, message box and you understood right from where did I got if you are not getting it you can click on the browse types there you can give the json type json j token right j token so this is the one that we are getting here okay this is the one so then what i'll do is item of the name we are displaying first name as of now name dot I am converting it into a string format okay so let's save this and run the uh, activity so you can see you got John okay so the next one again uh, if you see this one this is completed so you will get John again second one Maria and uh, that's it John the next one is John and Maria okay so you understood right how we are printing in the same way you can get this last name you can get this age okay these are the key value pairs is easy to understand let's get into little complicated things here okay so let's get let's look at these two types here these two are different type than other things if you look at this address address itself is again a json object and phone is phone number is a json array okay so let's look into this address i want to print this city city so in order to print what is the value in the city what we have to do is we have to select this address then we have to select that city so what i am doing is carefully observe here this is very important address dot not dot again this is a json uh, here till is a json json object again i am setting another object that is city okay then dot to string i'm just converting it into a string so you could have understood from now what is the values that i am expecting is new york and another value that i am expecting is new delhi and another value is uh, michigan so let's run this and see what is the value we are getting new york new delhi and michigan okay so i hope you people understood then uh, 
cons so as of now in this we understood two different concepts two different things if it is a straightforward one directly we have to give this first name if it is inside another json object type then we have to give this parent one this is address then the child one that is either state if you want to get the state you can use this state if you want to use this past postal code you can use that now let's get this type number okay so if you observe this this is a json array okay this is a json array then you have to do that number okay so for this kind of scenarios what we have to do okay friends uh, when i am doing this kind of things i really struggled a lot so uh, i hope you will put some effort to understand this so it's easy for you people to understand so that you can easily understand and you can easily implement it okay so if you see this whole object is a array type so what we are doing is like this is the first one is getting closed here and second one is getting closed here like that so here also we can imagine this as a json array and again we have to get into each and everything okay so for that what we have to do is here we applied for which right the same way again we need to apply the for which loop so i'm just deleting this message box for which then what i'll do is here item of that tag that is phone number so this is done now what we have to do here is we have to change this type to the json object type this is a json object type because this is again an object so once we get this um, let's get into let's display that mobile number message box message box item dot uh, what i'll do is item of what is the tag name tag name is number right so i'll use this number tag here to display little slow so I'm using this number here okay then I'm just converting it into a two string so what will happen is it will read this whole this whole uh, as a JSON array and in that it will get each and every number uh, I hope you understood let's so how many numbers we have let's look into each one so that it's easy for us to understand you can see this one is getting printing here cool and next come here in this if you observe there were two json objects that means that loop for which loop that we implemented has to run this for which loop has to run for two times so let's see how the data is coming so the first one if I click on it, I will be getting this. You can see that triple five one two one two three four. The second time also I am doing it. So three times till now we got we observed three data, right? Again this this one and this one. Okay. So this one for this one it's printed and the last one it was printed for double two three four. It should end now. Yes, understood? Cool. So I hope you people understood the different kind of JSON objects so by looking at the data we have to decide here this is a JSON JSON object here this is a JSON array so once this is a JSON array you given it this part will become a JSON object again this part is a normal uh, normal uh, key value pairs okay so this is about deserialized json array i have implemented one more thing i'll show you quickly show you that one this is deserialized json okay in this this quick realized um, deserialized json one we are just taking one as an input only one json 
object as an input so uh, what we are keeping is this JS input to is the only one JSON object this we are taking as an input so you can see that I'm giving this input to as a, this one and and this output I'm saving into the J this should be of string type you can see that and once that is done I'm using this deserialized JSON this is less JSON. I am giving that uh, JSON that string as an input that is a J and I am converting it into the JSON object JS. You can see the type as JSON object directly. And the thing is, uh, let's before getting into this, this is again uh, what I am doing here is again we have the uh, we have this one right. So I am, this is again I am showing here. You can see this is phone number which is again a json uh, json object item item i am taking up here you can see the type is json object there and i am printing uh, printing the phone numbers so let's run this see we got it right so apart from that let's print one more thing let us print this small one just to an object I got it there what I am giving is that first name first first name dot two string two string then I'm just giving some space then this is the normal one first string first name as we discussed what we'll do this time is we'll bring the state object state is a uh, address and state that way we have to uh, this state is a child one huh? so we have to refer first the parent one then the child one so here js of address address of state so dot to string so let's run this okay there are some issues it seems let's look at them what are the issues let me save this run okay so you can see first name john and the state is ny then that phone number is coming so I hope you people understood clearly. If you are having any doubt, please uh, mention that in a comment so that I can refer and I can explain you. Okay. I'm Karthik signing off. Thank you.